I see my role really in three ways as an insight leader across the organisation to drive that customer centricity. First of all, making sure that people have got the tools to do their job so they can access customer data quickly and easily um, to make sure they can make the best possible decisions. Secondly, it's setting the bar uncompromisingly high to make sure that people are really clear that they need to uh, take customer-centric thinking into everything they do and all the initiatives that we're, that we're driving and do the right thing for the customer. And then third, it's making sure that we demonstrate that by putting the customer first, ultimately that leads to business success and commercial growth. I would say there are two things that have really helped us build um, customer-centric thinking across the organisation. First of all, it's that constant connectivity with customers, whether it be going out on a company shop or just even spending time with customers in store. Really important that all of the team in marketing take that time to spend with customers. Secondly, it's that blend of, sort of data science and analytics with traditional re research techniques and understanding how customers think, feel and do now what we want them to think, feel and do in the future, but also doing that backed up by hard quantitative data that helps us really unpick the business opportunity that's there. I would say the most important thing we've done to use Insight to really engage with customers has actually been building our customer segmentation. So we've taken a quantitative approach to this. We've interviewed 30,000 customers across all the geographies in which we operate, and that's given us a really deep granular understanding, both qualitative and quantitative, of who our customers are, what she values and what we need to do to drive business success over a period of time.